because this will be a very uh, long uh, conference online, well, six hours. I propose to start uh, at, uh, almost uh, on time. So welcome uh, everybody. This is the fifth uh, Euro Symposium on Healthy Aging. Uh, it's the first one only lasting for one day. It's also the uh, first one uh, only online, and it's also the first one with uh, uh, probably more than 100 people who will join at one moment or another. Please uh, uh, feel free to give your opinion on the chat. Thank you everybody for being there. Thank you uh, especially uh, for the speakers, but also for all participants. And thank you for the people who were making this possible, among other people, especially Ilya uh, Stambler and Virginie Stephan, who were working, I mean, uh, almost as much as I was uh, working, maybe even more sometimes. Um, today is the 1st of October. The 1st of October is the International Day of Older per People. It's also for us the day of longevity. And uh, today, Virginie will put the link uh, to the text that uh, uh, we hope to adopt uh, at the end of this uh, uh, meeting concerning uh, biomarkers uh, and uh, clinical trials. You are welcome until the end of the meeting to make uh, comments, to suggest uh, uh, modifications. So this is uh, all for my uh, introduction, and now I give the word to Sven. Don't forget okay. Sven. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to uh, say welcome. Due to Corona, we had to postpone, as Didi already explained, the main conference to next year. Um, and we hope to see you there, of course. Um, so today uh, we will have a little bit of a special edition of EHA, one that is uh, devoted to uh, more or less a single uh, main topic. Um, but it's a very important topic, and that is the question of how can we translate the multitude of basic research that is going on uh, to benefits uh, of the patient. Or if we use the famous, famous slogan of the American cardiologist Spencer King uh, from 1996, from bench to bedside. In the first part of this meeting, we will discuss clinical trials on aging, and we will undoubtedly learn about the ongoing trials, such as TAME, and also uh, learn about how these are structured and what uh, changes or improvements or suggestions there are for future clinical trials. Next, we will discuss the development of biomarkers on aging, that can be used as surrogate endpoints for human clinical trials. Conducting trials with mortality or even the incidence of AIDS-related diseases as endpoints, uh, starting in healthy elderly patients is cumbersome and very expensive due to the long time frames needed to establish efficacy of the interventions using these endpoints. Therefore, the development of validated surrogate endpoints um, of aging will be a potential solution to this conundrum. Finally, we will look at the legal and the socio-political aspects of translational research in humans on aging, and what can be done to stimulate the establishment of future human clinical trials on aging. To conclude the meeting, we will have a general discussion followed by the formal adoption of a declaration on translational research on aging. So questions can be asked in the chat, and if time permits, we will answer ask one or two of these questions to the speaker. We kindly ask speakers to answer uh, any questions that are in the chat um, after their lecture is done. And so due to time constraints, please uh, stick to the allotted time for your lecture. Thank you. Um, thank you. And uh, all, I also must uh, uh, say how happy and proud I am to be in such a distinguished audience of speakers of of uh, attendance, uh, a very important uh, meeting on the key issues of longevity research, the trials and biomarkers that makes them uh, possible. Uh, just a couple of technical questions, uh, as Sven also said. Uh, 
uh, if if you are not speaking, please mute yourself. Uh, if you are speaking, please uh, stick to the time. There are many, many speakers. So please aim to speak about 10, 11, 12 minutes. We will uh, make signs uh, when it is close to the time. Um, and uh, there may be question, a question or two in the end. And another issue I wanted to mention uh, is that, uh, as Didier also mentioned, uh, this is a part of a larger uh, campaign of a longevity month campaign, uh, starting with longevity day. The 1st of October, this campaign we do every year for about seven years. Hundreds of events, the promotions, uh, meetings, uh, publications are done by activists. So you're also welcome uh, to organize more events, uh, more meetings, more promotions um, uh, during this month. And there is even a prize for this um, from the International Longevity Alliance uh, for the best uh, longevity event or promotion during the longevity month, uh, $3,000 First prize, one thousand dollars. Second prize. Well, let's make it a, a real event for to boost the awareness about longevity. Okay. So, uh, for the first part, Sven will be chairing. So, uh, we are beginning uh, just a few minutes uh, too early. That's great. So we will have more time for questions and remarks 